Welcome to AED 101, brought to you by the U.S. Department of Energy Advanced Electric Drive Vehicle Education Program, the National Alternative Fuels Training Consortium, West Virginia University, and their program partners. This production will give you the straight scoop on advanced electric drive vehicles. You'll have all the information you need to decide if advanced electric drive vehicles are the right choice for you. National Alternative Fuels Training Consortium, or the NAFTC, is a pioneer and national leader in promoting programs and activities to help alleviate America's addiction to foreign oil. This leads to energy independence and a greater use of cleaner transportation. The NAFTC is the only nationwide training organization that focuses primarily on alternative fuel vehicles and advanced technology vehicles. Thanks to the growing number of national training centers from Maine to California, we have a strong network of members that collaborate with us by offering training sessions and workshops across the nation. Their efforts will help us fulfill our mission of reducing our country's dependence on foreign oil. For more than 100 years, the automobile has delivered freedom of movement to millions of people. And while car designs have evolved over time to include a wide range of shapes and sizes from two-seaters to SUVs, one thing has remained constant. With few exceptions, they've all relied on internal combustion engines burning petroleum fuels for their operation. The U.S. faces two critical challenges, reducing our dependence on petroleum and decreasing greenhouse gas emissions. Nowhere are these priorities more challenging than in the transportation sector, which accounts for two-thirds of our petroleum consumption and about a third of our greenhouse gas emissions. Advanced electric drive vehicles will play a key role in conquering these challenges and will offer the opportunity to make our world cleaner for future generations. In 2008, the United States consumed 19.5 million barrels of oil per day on average, making us the largest consumer of petroleum in the world, despite having only 5% of the world's population. Yet less than half of that petroleum was produced domestically. In economic terms, the United States spends $1 billion each day on imported oil. Clearly, these challenges need to be addressed, not only to regain our nation's energy independence, but also to clean up our act when it comes to the cars we use. The driving public needs to be aware that cleaner transportation options do exist, and they must be willing to consider them in their purchasing decisions. Car makers must commit to pursuing clean alternatives to petroleum, to developing advanced energy-saving technologies, and to making them affordable to the average driver. The mission of the Vehicle Technologies Program at the U.S. Department of Energy is to reduce our dependency on petroleum and to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. And we do that primarily by increasing the efficiency of the vehicles on the road, the vehicles you and I drive every day. We work on a portfolio of technologies, including vehicle light weighting, fuels, combustion, and electrification technology. Auto manufacturers' efforts to develop cleaner transportation options and to deliver advanced technology vehicles to dealer showrooms are beginning to pay off. The automobile as we know it is being reinvented with an eye towards sustainability. Clean, renewable fuels and advanced power technologies will allow us the freedom to hit the open road responsibly and without compromise for generations to come. Among the most promising of those technologies is advanced electric drive. You see it on the road today primarily as hybrid electric vehicles, but other variations are ready now or will be in the near future, and together they are leading the charge toward practical green motoring. Battery electrics, plug-in hybrids, and fuel cell electric vehicles not only help to reduce our transportation emissions, but also lessen our dependence on petroleum. Of course, electric drive vehicles are nothing new. Some of the very first automobiles were battery powered and the first gas electric hybrid vehicle created by a young engineer named Ferdinand Porsche dates way back to 1899. More than a century later, electric vehicle production is a reality and growing. 
thanks to innovative automotive manufacturers, battery developers, and other technology research, as well as public investments in clean vehicle technologies. The electricity delivery grid in the United States is unmatched in terms of coverage when compared to any other alternative fuel infrastructure and, best of all, it's already in place. What's more, ongoing development of an interactive smart grid will give it the capacity to handle increasing demand for vehicle charging in the coming decades. Through the Recovery Act, we're funding a number of electric drive projects, including the production facilities for batteries, for electric drive components, as well as large-scale demonstration of electric drive vehicles. These projects are reaching out to a number of key groups, including first responders, those emergency professionals first to arrive at a vehicle accident scene. We're also supporting educational projects for students from grade school to graduate school. And finally, to maintenance technicians, those professionals that will be maintaining the vehicles you and I purchase in the future. Simply put, hybrid electric vehicles use an onboard power source, typically a small gasoline engine to provide power directly to the drive wheels and to a generator that recharges the vehicle's onboard battery packs. Energy is also captured through regenerative braking to help charge the batteries. The battery pack sends power to an electric motor that can drive the vehicle at low speeds or assist the engine on demand through accelerating, passing, or climbing hills. Most of these vehicles currently use nickel metal hydride battery packs. Hybrid electric vehicles have been commercially available in the U.S. since 1999 when Honda introduced the Insight, a small two-passenger coupe that achieved 60 miles per gallon on the highway. Today there are dozens of production hybrid models to choose from and more are on the way. They're available in all body styles from family cars, SUVs and pickups to sports cars and even full-out racing machines. After all, who says driving green can't be fun, too? A benefit for many commuters driving hybrid electric vehicles is that they actually get better fuel economy in the city where average speeds are lower and braking energy is captured. Hybrids have been a great starting point to pique consumers' interest in electric vehicles, but newer technologies such as battery, plug-in hybrid, and fuel cell electric vehicles can now help solve our nation's two critical challenges decreasing dependence on petroleum and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Plug-in hybrids which can be charged from the electric grid when the vehicle is parked typically have a larger energy storage battery pack than standard hybrids. The plug-in hybrid typically runs at normal speed on battery power alone until the charge is depleted. When this happens, the gasoline engine kicks in and the car operates like a conventional hybrid. A plug-in battery pack is usually a lithium-ion formulation, which carries more energy at a much lighter weight. Depending on the size of the battery pack and the vehicle's efficiency, the electric-only operation can last up to 40 miles, easily boosting fuel economy. And that 40-mile electric-only range is a key to making plug-in hybrids so desirable. Consider that 75% of Americans have a daily commute of less than 40 miles. Throw in the ability to recharge your car's batteries while you're at work or school all day, and you could conceivably go weeks without ever burning a drop of gasoline. The same is true of plug-in series hybrids, sometimes called extended-range electric vehicles, like the Chevy Volt or the Fisker Karma. Another type of electric drive vehicle uses fuel cells, which directly convert the chemical energy and hydrogen to electricity, with pure water and potentially useful heat as the only byproducts. Fuel cell electric vehicles which use renewable hydrogen fuels are not only pollution-free at the tailpipe, but also highly efficient and capable of high fuel economy. In today's fuel cell vehicle demonstrations, hydrogen fuel is compressed and stored on board the vehicle in tanks. Hydrogen fueling stations are concentrated in California and select areas for the time being, but more are planned. Both General Motors and Honda are now demonstrating full-performance hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. 
Honda has begun leasing the FCX Clarity to pre-selected motorists in California. GM's Project Driveway has placed 200 fuel cell powered Chevy Equinox crossovers in the hands of real world drivers in a number of cities where hydrogen fueling stations are in place. Other manufacturers including Mercedes-Benz, Toyota, Nissan and Volkswagen also have running fuel cell prototype vehicles. Throughout the years, numerous electric vehicles have been manufactured, but none were routinely practical for more than a few miles of driving. The size and weight of the battery packs usually meant sacrificing cargo room and utility, while the need to recharge after less than 50 miles led to range anxiety, the worry of being stranded away from home with dead batteries and no charging infrastructure. But recent advancements in battery technology related to energy density and power management controls have made battery packs lighter, smaller, and easier to configure in odd shapes, so battery electric vehicles are experiencing a renewed popularity. Once you get behind the wheel of an advanced electric drive vehicle, you'll be surprised at how exciting the experience can be. It will likely be quieter than the vehicle you're used to. No clattering exhaust or rumbling engine. Pay attention also to the gauge clusters. Chances are there will be a power monitor that shows how the vehicle is receiving and distributing its energy. Learning how your car reacts to different driving styles can actually improve the way you drive and increase your vehicle's fuel efficiency. Two topics now being discussed about electric cars are standardized charging ports and battery life expectancy. Having a common electrical plug is critical to establishing consumer acceptability. Think about how many different cell phone charging cords your family has and what a hassle it would be to have a different cord for each of your vehicles. Recently, the U.S. manufacturing industry agreed on a universal design for an electric vehicle charging plug a standard specified by the Society of Automotive Engineers. Another common misconception is the life expectancy of the battery packs. Every hybrid vehicle on the market includes the battery pack under the vehicle's warranty, typically 8 years, 100,000 miles, but can be up to 10 years or 150,000 miles for some vehicles in several states. Routine maintenance for hybrid or electric vehicles is really no different than for a conventional vehicle. In some cases, it is actually less. Most of the mechanical systems like suspension and tires are the same as any other car and follow the same maintenance procedures and schedules. However, consumers should never attempt to service a battery pack themselves and should never touch or attempt to disconnect any of the orange high voltage cables on the vehicle. Commonly overlooked on hybrids is the second cooling system, just for the electrical components. This should be serviced according to the specifications in the owner's manual. The goal of the Advanced Electric Drive Vehicle Education Program is to raise awareness about and foster a greater understanding of advanced electric drive vehicles by educating consumers about these vehicles and by creating a field of properly trained automotive technicians to service them. There are several ways the Advanced Electric Drive Vehicle Education Program will raise awareness. In addition to targeting automotive technicians, the project will provide teaching materials to secondary educators who offer automotive technology courses. The program will also reach first responders through curricula and training, as well as consumers through education and outreach, including National Alternative Fuel Vehicle Day Odyssey. National AFV Day Odyssey is a nationwide biennial event that promotes the use of alternative fuel and advanced technology vehicles. For more information, visit www.nationalafvdayodyssey.org. Advanced electric drive vehicles offer an excellent opportunity for each of us to manage our personal carbon footprint, save energy, and help to reduce our nation's dependence on petroleum. By learning all you can about advanced electric drive vehicles, you can make the decision that's right for you when purchasing one of these vehicles.